hello everybody and welcome to a Stormworks tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Titanic and successfully run it on any computer. Now, here's the thing. You have to have a really good computer for this, just so you know. So if you don't have any sort of graphics card in it, then it's probably not going to be smooth for you because this game is it surprisingly takes up a lot of uh, GPU while well, you need a heavy GPU. So if you don't have good GPU, then you're not gonna you're gonna have some issues with this game. Well, trying to spawn a Titanic to you, but anyways, so yeah, what you're gonna do? We're gonna press Escape and then click on the Steam Workshop down here, and then I'll post the link to the Titanic mod or add-ons, whatever you wanna call it, in the link description below. But yeah, just so you guys know, you're gonna go there. I'll leave the link for you guys, so that all you gotta do is click subscribe to all the parts and stuff or whatever, or just one big titanic, it's just one big titanic actually, so you subscribe to one thing I think, and then you're good. So after that, you're going to press M, which is for map, and then you're going to go out here, and come over to the creative base, because this is the only place that you can actually spawn the titanic in. So make sure you're at the creative base, it looks like this if you're wondering, it's way down here. You just zoom in and look for this dock, and it should say Coast Guard Outpost right there, so like that. that's what it looks like, just so you know. Okay, so this is what you should be seeing when you spawn in, and you're going to go run over here. Yeah, 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 you're way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, now run over here, and it will stop for a second before it spawns in, because it needs time to spawn a vehicle in, but it's going to be surprisingly stable. Or smooth, I should say. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna press M again. You're gonna go to missions, add a mission, and this is probably the most important part. You're gonna click workshop. That's where the Titanic's gonna be. I'm gonna scroll down here. There's this Titanic mod. You wanna look for this right here. Click on that. Click this, and then you're gonna spawn the mission. And then you're gonna see this down here. Spawn the mission. If, if your, any of your mission mods don't say this, when you click spawn, then it's not going to work. So some of them just don't work because they don't make them correctly. So after you do that, the Titanic's going to spawn in, and then you're going to swim over to it. So I'll be back when I get to the front. So, by the way, the um, Titanic will be a little bit loud, so be careful about that. Um, although... Even though it's making the sound, it's, it is not broken, I assure you. It's just the noise that the Titanic makes. I don't know why he, the creator decided to do that, but trust me, it's supposed to do that noise. But I will tell you guys when I get to the front. Ladder, by the way, when you spawn this in, the ladder is on the bow. So just be sure that you remember that. But I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Alrighty guys, so I have made it to the ladder. So once you get to the ladder, just climb up. And then... You're going to go to the bridge, just run over here, so this is how you get here. You're going to take these stairs right here, and do keep in mind your character will be a little bit slow, unless you have, like, the world's best computer. It will be a little bit slow. And then you're going to go up those stairs up here, and then spin to your left, and this is the bridge right here. So this is the easiest thing in the world to turn on. So as you can see, there's only one button. This is for the engine. You just press that. And after that, you can move. See? Watch. Ready? As you can see, the boat is successfully moving. So that's, it's really, really, really simple to start the ship. Like, I, it's easily the easiest ship to, to turn on because it's just so, you press one button. Like, it's not hard at all. So I love it. Also, um, you, this, uh, it's surprisingly smooth to run the Titanic in this game because keep in mind this is like one of the largest vehicles in the entire game so it's really really smooth for the size that this thing is but again if this got if this did help you guys then be sure to leave this video a like and maybe even subscribe if you haven't already but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye